Hi there, Bruce the Water Guy here. Today I'd like to talk to you about disinfection. We have a tank down for cleaning, so I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to take a closer look at the system as to how we disinfect the wastewater uh, after we treat it, removing all the nutrients and pollutants before we return it to the water environment. So let's take a walk and take a closer look at the system. Where I work, we use gaseous chlorine. We receive the chlorine in one ton liquid containers. Now the gas is pressurized in this system and uh, this little pigtail connects to a header system under pressure, goes through a pressure reducing valve here, dropping the pressure to about 30 pounds, and then it goes through this unit which is a vacuum regulator and uh, then that takes under vacuum and feeds the gas through an automatic changeover valve into the next room into our distribution system. From the tank room, the chlorine comes into the feed room through the wall and this line comes down to a header system where we can select three different uh, injectors. This is the one we're using today, number one. Chlorine comes up in the system through here, runs through a rotometer so we can meter how much we're using, and today we're feeding 100 pounds per day. Then it leaves this injector system, goes across the room, and then comes here where we use plant reuse water running through an injector here which creates the vacuum to suck the water through the system and then we have a chlorinated solution line that leaves this system and goes to an application point which we'll go to next. The chlorine solution is fed here into a junction chamber. This is where all of our final clarifiers come together and uh, literally it is just fed into a PVC pipe with a bunch of holes drilled into it to distribute it equally into the flow stream. You can see over my shoulder there an open grating. That is where we check the level to make sure that the uh, chlorine injection system is completely submerged and we can adjust the level to make sure that we uh, get good distribution into the uh, waste stream of the chlorination before it goes to a chlorine contact chamber uh, for some detention time. And that's where we're gonna go next. This is a chlorine contact chamber. Uh, this one is in service and what this does is it gives detention time for the water to stay in contact with the chlorine to disinfect. This is not sterilization, which means to kill everything. Disinfection is only killing the pathogens or disease-causing organisms. Now I have a tank out of service and it's empty so we can take a closer look at that. So the chlorinated water enters the structure here. Now the shape of this tank is serpentine. There are baffle walls that force the water to flow uh, in a serpentine fashion back and forth throughout this tank, which is what actually creates the detention time, uh, which we would like about a half an hour of chlorine contact time to achieve proper disinfection, which we check daily by running a fecal coliform uh, or an E. coli uh, to check that the proper disinfection has been met and we are meeting our discharge permit. We replace some piping here on this discharge pump which uh, helps us to take this basin in and out of service uh, for some cleaning and then it comes through to this final channel here where it would finally exit through this weir uh, joining the other three chlorine contact chambers before final disposal to the water environment. Now after uh, the disinfection and when it leaves the chlorine contact chamber, the water still has some residual chlorine. And again, what chlorine is very good at is uh, killing things. So we don't want to release that into the environment. We feed another chemical called sodium bisulfite, which instantly reacts with the chlorine and uh, removes the residual chlorine uh, to an extremely low level of less than 0.038 milligrams per liter, 
uh, before it goes into the water environment. And again, this is something that has to constantly be checked to make sure that we're meeting permit. So I hope you learned a thing or two and you enjoyed taking a closer look at our disinfection system in one of our serpentine chlorine contact chambers. Uh, this is Bruce the Water Guy. Have a good day.